So I have an addiction and I think I finally might be able to admit it. Hear me out. I am addicted to looking at cheap old houses. Some may say that they're haunted. Some may say they are money pits. I have a vision. If anything has me in a chokehold, it's that cheap old houses Instagram account. Now I also need to admit, I spend way too much time sitting here at this desk, looking at cheap old houses on realtor.com. Way too much time. As you can see from this map that's on the screen right now, I have favorited hundreds of houses at this point. <laughs> hundreds, many of them my dream houses that I was literally heartbroken and depressed when they sold. <laughs> and my husband knows at this point when I sent him a link that is probably a cheap old house that we cannot buy right now but I wish we could. And here's the thing, you're probably asking, Caitlin, you live in Canada, so why are you looking at houses in the US? Well, my husband is American and I'm in the visa process of moving to the United States, getting my citizenship, et cetera, et cetera. On top of that, the housing prices in Canada are not even worth looking at. I don't think there is a sliver of hope for me to ever own a home in Canada. The gems that the United States has. Let me tell you, the cheap old houses there, I could literally spend every waking hour of my day sitting on realtor.com, hitting refresh, trying to see the new ones that pop up. And when I come across a TikTok account where someone has bought a cheap old house and is renovating it, I may or may not have been up till 3 a.m. last night watching a TikTok account, video by video of them renovating. So I haven't been on in a few days because I need to limit myself, but I thought if I was going to go on, I might as well film it and bring you all along on the journey as I look at some cute cheap old houses. Let me know if y'all like this concept of just hanging out and looking at cheap old houses online together because I am an 80 year old woman literally wearing a grandpa cardigan right now. I don't think anyone's gonna watch this video. <laughs> Myself and I, but you know what? I had a fun time. So without further ado, Let's dive down the rabbit hole of cheap old houses. <laughs> so as you can see on the screen here, I have saved quite a few cheap old houses and they're all on the East Coast or at least in the Eastern half of the US. And that is because I just love the architecture and the style of homes that are on the East Coast. I love the old Victorians. I love the old colonial revivals. Oh my God, colonial revivals are just, mm. They just do something to me. Old vintage farmhouses with acreage. Don't even get me started. On top of all of that, my husband's also from Pennsylvania and he lives in Florida now. So anywhere in that kind of range of area, finding an old house, especially in the South, I am extremely interested in. I always thought I was going to end up living in Florida, but the prices of homes in Florida have raised so much. There's also no homes that have land. It's very congested there. It's very city-ish. And as much as I love the beach and I love the whole like palm tree Florida vibe, after spending years and years of researching homes and areas and just seeing landscaping and what I think I really like, this might sound crazy, but I am in love with Virginia. The state of Virginia, you might disagree, I think is just so beautiful visually, landscape wise. And if I was to live anywhere else in the South, I think I would really like to live near Charleston, South Carolina. And that is because I think Charleston is such a beautiful city. An hour within Charleston would be ideal. Before we look into some new houses, let me show you some of my dream houses that I have on here saved, uh, just so you can get an idea of what I'm looking for. Let's start off with this beautiful North Carolina home that I call the Chainsaw Massacre House because my husband says it looks like the house in the Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> and I agree, I see the vision. I don't know if you see it, but I see it. And this house had me in a chokehold for whew, six months. This house had been on the market for a long, long time because as you will just see, it needs a lot of work. Other than these couple photos here, there were no other photos of this house. Now I had this house saved and I would come back to it and just obsess over the exterior of this home. It is giving Chainsaw Massacre, it is giving a horror movie, but I could just see the vision. But let me tell you, I spent hours upon hours upon hours researching how much it would cost to fix up a home like this. And I would have needed to take out at least, I think 60 grand minimum to fix stuff like if it needed an entire new roof, because this is a metal roof. Those are extremely expensive but they're very good for a home like this. They last a long time. But zoom into the photo and look at like little things that needed to get fixed. Like these porches needed to get completely redone. As you can see here, it's like absolutely falling apart in this area. So things like that needed to get fixed. And I could just picture myself wanting to film myself fixing this house up 
it would have been a dream. Just replacing all of these windows and making them by hand, I just thought would be so fun. Repainting this entire house would have been so nice. As you can see, like there, this house needed all new plumbing. People lived in this house. I will tell you, I went so deep into obsessing about this house that I found the people that lived in it and owned it on the deed of registers. I found their Facebooks just because I was curious, like who lives in this area? who owned this home and left it to fall into such shambles. I went down a rabbit hole. I could have been an FBI agent in another life. Now, after months and months and months, they finally added more photos of the interior. And the interior made me fall even more in love with this house. As you can see, someone was living in it. Someone was living in this shamble of a house. This hallway, I don't know what they were doing here. They built this weird like makeshift wall that had plastic on it with blinds. I don't understand. And this house was just full of old furniture. Now what really sold me on this house was this staircase. Look at this staircase. And look at this hallway on the second floor. It has the beadboard, these floors if they were refinished. Uh, but there weren't that many photos. There's no photos of the kitchen. There's no photos of bathrooms. To this day, I wish I could have toured this house, but unfortunately has sold. And if you want to take a guess how much this house was going to be sold for, 149.5K. $150,000 for this giant four bed, one and a half bath, almost 5,000 square foot home on a 13 acre lot. My heart hurts that this one sold. This little house that was in Georgia absolutely stole my heart when I seen it. Now this is a house that didn't have any land really. It has 1.1 acres. It's nothing crazy what I'm actually looking for, like a little house in the middle of the woods, but it's a five bedroom, three bath. It's in a little town in Georgia called Lexington that has a, the cutest little coffee shop. Let me tell you, I went down a rabbit hole, went down a rabbit hole researching this little town. It is so cute. And even better, if we zoom out on the map here, it is right next to Athens, Georgia. So if you wanted to go to a, you know, decently sized city to go do stuff, go eat out, I don't know, go watch a movie, go bowling, do something like that, you're right near Athens. This little house I thought was so freaking cute if we weren't gonna get land and just wanted to, you know, get a little starter home. I was obsessed with the exterior of this home, the little door, it was just so cute. I just had a vision. As you can see, it was super overgrown outside and the interior wasn't the best. This house needed a lot of work and it wasn't 100% everything I'd ever wanted, I'd say. But just scrolling through here, like as you can see in the photos, like the ceiling's falling in here. It's a disaster, quite a mess. However, I just had a vision for it and I thought it was the cutest little area. And for the price of it, I thought it was definitely a good buy. In March, it ended up selling for 82.5K which for a five bedroom, three bath home, it's so cheap. And I have a little tip for you all. If you ever want to see an update on a home, maybe the Google car went by it. And the Google car ended up going by this home in this case. And as you can see, someone's fixing it up. It's so cute. Look at it. They cleared out all the debris. Looks like they're putting on a new porch and this is in August of this year. So, you know, good for them. I hope that they have a happy little home here. I wish we had an update like this on every house, but unfortunately the Google car doesn't go through a lot of places. And as you will see with some homes in very rural areas, there's not even like a Google street view of it. So considering it's 2023, there are still areas of the United States where the Google car has not gone through. This house. Now, if you want to see a cheap old home, this is a cheap old home. This absolute mansion, 4.2 K square feet four bed, four and a half bath home in Winsboro, South Carolina. It is absolutely gorgeous. And if this house was in the middle of the woods, it would be my dream. I would sell my left kidney for it. So what I said, this house is just mm, the visions I had for this home. I was in chat forums about cheap old houses going off about this house. I am obsessed. Let's just take a look at it. It sold, unfortunately, for $60,000 just, I think, last month. The fireplace in this kitchen. Oh, this kitchen's so beautiful. Like, it's just the ceiling heights in this house. This is my dream house. The details, it's giving Parisian. It's giving European, in my opinion. It's just so beautiful. And the amount of Pinterest saves I have about how I could decorate a home like this is just astronomical. Fireplace, oh, little covers. The porch swing. Do you see these ceiling heights? I would look like an ant in these rooms and I would just love it. 
little Aunt Me wandering through this house. The staircases in these homes when they're like this, so you just, ugh. The staircase here leads up probably to the attic, which is giving horror movie ghost vibes, and I am so for it. I have spoken to my husband about you know, buying one of these old houses and it being haunted. And I think I would absolutely be terrified. And he was actually hoping that we end up finding a haunted house because he thought it would be cool. I'm not looking for that bad juju. I do not want that bad energy. Not for me all. This little yellow room here, I would match it. There's a pink room, there's a green room. There's just every color of room you could ever want. And it's just, look at this house. This room here, this little pink room here, I was just envisioning as a filming room. I just, there's so many windows, the lighting would be incredible. I'm so sad that this house sold. I was just devastated. Also a weird fact, but I have family that actually lives near this home, like within an hour of this home. So I would have had family nearby. I also went down the weirdest rabbit hole about Winsboro, South Carolina. I went through like at least 10 or 20 YouTube videos of news reports about this area. The drama of this town, y'all. The downtown of this little town has the most beautiful architecture of storefronts and buildings. It's a beautiful little town. Unfortunately, big box stores came in and absolutely ruined the economy there. It wiped out all the small businesses. The Walmart came in and then realized it wasn't gonna make enough money and left. Put so many people out of jobs, left people without having a grocery store in the area now. It's just, it's absolutely tragic what big box stores can do. There was issues with the water coming out undrinkable for like months. So everyone was scrambling to buy water bottles so that they could have water to drink and cook with and bathe it. It was just a, a whole disaster in this town. There was issues with the literal electric bills being sent out where they were like double or triple the prices for some reason. It was just the drama of a small town. And you know what? I would have loved every minute of it because this house is this one hurt, this one hurt when it sold. Okay, another one. So I talk so much about how much I absolutely love the valleys in Virginia. So I'm gonna show you the house that really stole my heart. I was depressed with this one, so let me tell you, I was so sad. This house was originally, I think, listed for $165,000. Yes, $165,000. It is a four bed, one and a half bath home in Big Island, Virginia with 2.2, acres of land. And as I said, I'm looking for a house that maybe has more land than that. However, you don't really need more land in this case because the views from this home, the views, I wanted to purchase it. Like I literally sat here like, how could I buy this house right now? I honestly can't, but how could I? Because this is the house that I would want to raise my children in. Now prepare yourself. Views is just, do you see this? Do you see the lighting? Whoever shot these photos, I could just picture myself frolicking in this grass right here, getting a drone footage of just me twirling in the grass. I could just picture the vlogs and just filming life here. It looked like a movie scene. Oh my God. Do you see the mountains? I could picture having kids and them running through the fields here with the mountains and the sky in the background and just, this house looks like an absolute dream. Whoever shot these photos really sold it. I was ready to sell both of my kidneys for this house. Okay. Now let's get into the inside of the home because this is definitely a bit of a smaller home compared to the ones I've been looking at. It's a little farmhouse vibes, it was adorable. So as you can see, the inside isn't anything super special. It's definitely a cute little charming home. There's definitely little details that are cute, but you know, I honestly didn't think there was anything too special about this house. The bones and the layout look pretty good. Like definitely something you could renovate. This living room is ginormous. I think it's the whole length of the house. The upstairs, some bedrooms, like nothing absolutely wild. This bathroom though was so cute. I love the wallpaper. The colors were so fun, but just like, look at the window. Look at the views of the window. If I can find a home that has views like this, like this is my backyard, I've won in life. This is my dream. There's a few other houses that I'm absolutely obsessed with, but if y'all like this style of video, maybe I'll show you some more of them. But let's get into some recent finds. There's this one house here that's in New York. I do like to look in New York sometimes just because if I could get a house that has cast iron radiators, like the one I have in my apartment, they're just so warm. Let me tell you, I am sweating in this apartment with those cast iron radiators. They work. But also if I was to find a home in like super upstate New York, I would be able to drive to see my grandmother in Canada in like three hours. So that'd be kind of nice. However, 
I also want to get away from the snow. And so if I was to live in Virginia or an area like that where it like gets cold in the winter but doesn't snow much, that would be the dream. My husband doesn't care about the snow. He loves the snow. So if he wants to go shovel driveways, that's for him. However, I do dabble in looking in New York and we've looked at some houses that have been sold. This little house is still for sale. It's in Sanford, New York. It's a three bed, one bath, 2000, just over 2000 square foot home. It has less than an acre. However, it's in the middle of the woods. So I still think that is fine. You know, if it doesn't have that much acreage, but it's in the middle of the woods, you're still getting the scenery. You know what I mean? Like you don't need a huge amount of land per se. But let's look at this house. It's just a little old farmhouse kind of vibe home. As you can see, the outside is just so cute. I'm obsessed with the yellow and this is your backyard. It's in the middle of the woods. Now the inside of the home, it definitely needs work. Look at this old stove. Like the, the oven's so small. If you had like a bunch of kids back then, how would you cook for them on an oven that small? I don't know. This little old sink is really cute though. I like that. All of the beadboard and like shiplap and just, it's, I love it. This little house doesn't look like it needs a ton of work. It has these, what do they call these? Is it lin linoleum carpets that's on the floors here? You can see that it was put over the floorboards and that there's clearly wooden floors under this. This photo is <laughs> chaotic. All the old wallpaper in this home. So cute. Now the wallpaper that I'm obsessed with. Look at this room. Would this not be the cutest little girl's room? If I was to take this linoleum carpeting rug, whatever you call this, off the floor, I would 100% leave this wallpaper up. It is the cutest wallpaper I think I've ever seen. Like the green and the pink and the white are like the perfect shades of each color. I would also leave a little hanger on the wall. And then they just have one other bedroom here. But like, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this little house in the middle of the woods. The Google car has not been through here since August of 2009. So this is a rural. Yeah, you can't even see the house from the road really. It's right there. What's over here? Oh, we got a little church. That's cute. Oh, there's the house. You can see it a bit. Oh, the, the mountains, the hills, they're so pretty. You're right near the Arctic China State Forest. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, I have already finished my coffee. Let's dive into looking at some new listings because I wanna see what's going on here. Let's see if there's anything new here. Let's start with Virginia since it's the state that I'm the most obsessed with. Um, we're gonna do under 300,000 because that's usually my criteria. We're gonna look for homes and farms. We're gonna do at least two bedrooms. The number one thing you wanna wanna do if you wanna look for cheap old homes on your own is you wanna go to the home age and you wanna change it to at least, I'd say 75 years. Sometimes I do 50 if I wanna see a few extra homes that are maybe a little newer because if you do 75, it's gonna bring you to homes that were built before the 1950s, which is what I want. I want these old like 1900s homes. We're gonna select 75 years. Other things I also like to do is do lot size, at least an acre because I'm looking for homes that have more land. And then if you really wanna look for those big old homes, you're gonna wanna do like 2,500 square feet or more, but I'm not gonna select that because I like to see the extra options that they have. So we're in Virginia. I'm gonna also change it to newest listings because I've gone through these listings so many times that I don't need to go that far back. So let's see what Virginia has to offer today. So five hours ago, we have this big guy. Something I also like to do is go on Google Maps and just see what's up with the area. So see how this home is on a major street? I don't like that. I don't wanna be on a major street. So this is a home despite like, it's probably cute inside, let's see. Yeah, like this is a very cute little home in this area. And it's definitely been redone or at least taken care of over the years. Yeah, this is a home that has definitely been taken care of. Like it's not in bad shape whatsoever and they're trying to sell it for 250K. But unfortunately it's not really what I'm looking for. And it's also on a major street, which is something I don't want. Fuck, why is my max that high? This one is interesting. $35,000 by the coastline, Halifax, Virginia. 1300 square feet. See, you wouldn't see this if you increase the square footage. What is the address? 394. It says it's here, but it's not here. Is it? Is it in the back? Wait a second. <laughs> Look, it's back there. That's so weird. You have to drive by these people's home to get to that house. 
That's it, right? Yeah. I think that's the house. But for 35,000, I'm not seeing anything in Virginia today that's really catching my eye. Let's see this little house. 264K, almost 265K. Shenandoah, Virginia. It's been listed for 12 days. It's five acres, 2,200 square feet, three bed, one bath. It's giving Big Island. Quite pretty, I see. It looks like some farmland. Okay. I'm guessing that's your land, your five acres. Okay. I like the old windows, I will say. The kitchen's pretty bare. It looks like they took out all the appliances from it. It's definitely giving farmhouse, which I like so far. This is like a little pantry. It looks like washer and dryer. Okay. This room's a little weird. It looks like they used to have an old stove in here, but they took it out. Probably doesn't have heating or air conditioning in this home. So they took out the old stove. So you need to add that probably. The staircase is precious. Look at it. Oh, I love the curvature of the staircase. I love when there's curves. Okay. The ceiling here looks like it needs something, some work here. Let's give it a little Google and see what the area looks like. Cause that's what I like to do. Okay. Ooh. Okay. See, that's not bad. See, this is giving Big Island. It's giving scenery. It's not as nice as the other house, of course but you get the same kind of vibe. And it also looks like you have all of these little shops and stuff here. I don't know what you could do with them, but if you needed some extra storage space or if you wanted to have animals or something, you could probably turn these into little, like, I don't know, chicken coop things. Oh, we're at 2023. So this is just recently. I think I would pass on that house though, because I just don't like how close it is to the road, but it could be good for someone. It could be good. I ain't seeing much here. Let me tell you. Let's hop over to North Carolina. 128K almost. The outside is giving something. Okay. Is there just outside photos? There's only photos of the outside. That's sad. It looks like it's on a highway. Yeah. You're on like, you're on the edge of a highway. That's so random. I guess if you want to go anywhere, you can just jump on the highway right outside your door. <laughs> um, yeah, this house has been really neglected, as you can see. And the fact that it's right here on this highway, I feel like, I don't know, like a big developer is going to buy this up and turn it into like a gas station or something, this land. What is this? Okay, you got a river. A little house there in the hills. It looks like it's been very neglected. Oh, okay. Log cabin vibes. Is that the only inside photo? Okay. Well, there's a lot of cobwebs, it looks like, in this house. It's a lot of wood. The views, though, look at the trees. Like, this is so beautiful in fall. And you got a little river outside your house. I don't think that's for me, but for 259000 not too shabby. 22 acres of land. Let's see if we can see it from the road. Yep. This is your right in the valley, it looks like. Oh, wow. 2009. <laughs> this is 2016 at least. So there's a little house there. Imagine this flooding. You can't go home because <laughs> the bridge is flooded. So my camera died. But in the meantime, I found some gems. We're going all the way down to Greenwood, Florida for this one. I actually found a home in Florida under $300,000 that has almost two acres of land. And the inside of this home is... The outside of this home is also super cute. You can see this is definitely a house that's been kept up which is nice. It has solar panels, which is awesome, but it's the interior that really sold it for me. But this photo right here, this is the photo that I was like, this house is beautiful. I love this home. Just how grand it looks looking from the backside of the hallway of where the staircase is. This looks so beautiful. The ceiling heights are insane in this house. It's definitely been updated in some ways that aren't the best, but like Look at the molding on the wall. Like, look how beautiful that looks. There's even a fireplace in the kitchen. It looks like it has original doors, original hardware. These floors would be so beautiful when they're redone. And it looks like someone put carpet in here, but I would just tear it all out and just redo the floors. But look at this hallway. This hallway is just gorgeous. Just... I'm obsessed. Like, every room is just so grand looking. And you would never guess from the outside of the home because the outside of the home looks so 
tiny. So I don't know where they fit all of that house in this. Like, where is it? I, I don't know. Where, <laughs> where is all of that house? Near, somewhere near Tallahassee. Honestly, if this house was more in like central Florida, I would buy it in a heartbeat, but unfortunately it is not. We're now going over to South Carolina because I ended up finding a beautiful little home. This one doesn't have land, but this one is just so grand looking. Look at the outside, such a cute little peach home. If I wanted to live in a more suburban area, I would die for a house like this. Like look at the detail. These look like little seashells, it's so cute. It has original double doors. The backyard's honestly pretty big for like the suburbs. But let's look at the inside cause it is so grand inside as well. Like look at the width of this hallway is probably the width of my entire apartment. Like every room is just grand. Like look at this fireplace, like that's insane. Like look at this, it's just crazy looking. I will say this is probably not my favorite room. This room is just so bright, it's so pretty. I love all of the chair rails. The ceiling is just and look at this giant, beautiful fireplace with this metal detailing. Ugh, I love it. Love it. This room's also really cute. This bathroom is ginormous. If you redid this using this space, it would be, it's so huge. There's so much room for possibilities. The kitchen also looks very large. When you have high ceilings like this, everything feels big. What's really throwing me off is this rainbow ceiling fan in this old home. Oh, there's even some stained glass for those who like that. Okay, it looks like Chester is quite close to Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you wanted to go to a major city, it looks like you're not that far. You could even go to Rock Hill. Not too bad. Not too bad. This little house, where is it? It is in South Carolina as well. From the outside, this is not a house that I would usually click on because I like, as you can see, the more like farmhouse kind of vibes. I'm not really into brick homes, but the inside is my dream. This hallway makes me want to hit the purchase button right now. Like I just love these staircases that have the like, round and bottom step. These shotgun hallways that go straight through the house, especially if there's a door on the other side that leads to the back of the house, it's just so beautiful and it allows so much light in. I love these big hallways. Now, as you can see, this house is a bit of a disaster, but I just see a fun project to look for goodies in this mess. These little folding chairs with the rattan, they're staying with me. I do want to point out that it looks like there may be some mold happening on the wall here that you do not want. What's funny is we go from like this kind of more Victorian grandma style to this, which like with the duck on the wall, this looks like a little old cabin, like a little hunting cabin vibes here. Oh, I like how they photographed how the ceiling is caving in here. And then we go to this where it's like absolute disaster. This house is just like a whiplash. Yeah, like there's a lot of water damage in this house. Whoever's buying this house, like, ooh, Ooh, that's scary. That is scary town. The farther I go, oh my God. Pretty sure that's all mold. That's, it's a lot. This little teeny tiny adorable freaking house in New York. They had this little house in the middle of a field. I would want it in a heartbeat. It's on a foreclosure for just under $75,000. From the look of this, this does not look like a big house, but according to the information here, it's 4.7K square feet. That is huge, 4,700 square feet. The inside is also just equally just so pretty. Ignore this room, the rest will convince you. Do you see the detail? This is just giving European. I don't know what the rest of the house really looks like other than these few photos because that's all that's in there, but it's such a beautiful home. Just from those photos, if the rest of the house looks like that, so nice. However, what's not nice about this house. According to this realtor.com cost calculator, $759 a month in property taxes when your principal and interest is only $431. So at the end of the day, every month you're paying $1,200, which honestly in the grand scale of things is actually very cheap compared to even a rent nowadays. And you're getting an entire big house. But like, why are the taxes $9,000 and the house is only selling for 75,000? It's kind of crazy to me because the other houses that I have been looking at, the yearly property tax is only like $700 a year. And it also just doesn't make sense that the taxes are that high for this home because look at where it is. It's in the middle of nowhere. This one has definitely been taken care of a little bit more than some of the ones we've been looking at. Like you can see a little wreath on the outside and the detail, it's just looks like a little gingerbread house. Although I do see that looks like there's some damage here that would need to be addressed. 3,200, yeah, she's big. However, there are no interior photos of this house, which makes me sad because I wish I could see what it looks like inside. There is this really cool old original photo of it though. 
And I love when you can find old photos of a home. Like, look how cool that is. This Georgia home for $175,000 with nearly 20 acres of land. Had me sitting here staring at it for a while because of the land, I will tell you. Look at this. You have lakes on your land with a bridge. If you love fishing, this would just be so fun to drive like through your property and go sit on the bridge and fish. Just so peaceful. I wanted to turn this bridge into a little area where you could have some tables and like string lights and stuff and sit there and look at the water and eat dinner. That would be really pretty too. Now, the home on the other hand, as you can see, is extremely overgrown. This is a 1900s home, as most of them are that we're looking at, but the interior really screams like 1870s, I'm gonna be honest. The only photos we have of this home are these, this long shotgun hallway, which is just so freaking cool. We have this photo of a room. As you can see, everything is made out of original wood. Nothing has been like painted over and, you know, redone. Don't know if this was a fireplace in this hole here. There's like this weird hole that leads from both rooms and you can see through to the ground, which is an interesting take. But just seeing these few photos, I have so many visions. Looks like they may have some kind of electrical, these may be plugs. This looks like there could have been a light here. Having this much land, like so gorgeous. And it's still for sale because it was only posted five days ago. Four bedroom, one bath. I think the description said, is there multiple properties? Let me see. There's three houses on this land. So all three structures need complete renovations. So much potential and history on the land. There are three houses that were moved to the property over the last few decades. One of the homes is a beautiful heart pine farmhouse that could be a show place. Deep well, beautiful oak trees, wildlife galore. Sold. Three homes on this? I know so many people online have been talking about wanting to buy land and then like have all their friends live on the land with them. This would be the spot for you. You can tell, so this is probably the, the heart pine house. And then there's this home. This is a long home. I don't know what this house looks like inside because there's no photos. So yeah, you have one, two, and then there's a third, I think here. It's off the photo here. I would move to Georgia right now for this. <laughs> there's probably people out there like, you are absolutely insane. This looks like a horror show. I can see the vision. And you get three homes with all this beautiful land for $175,000. Sign me up. This little gem here, we are in Georgia still. Just under $80,000, there was just a $5,000 price decrease. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like, ooh. I love the walls, I will say. This is beautiful. I have a vision for that. Bathrooms need work. This house just needs a lot of work, and there's not that many photos. But, like, this little porch, the metal roof. Metal roofs are always great. And I think it has original windows as well. I love original windows. Now, this one is a little out of budget. It's... $389,000, which is, again, with today's market, not that unreasonable. And I just want to show you all because this is a little farmhouse that they've converted into a home and it's just so cute. It's a shotgun hallway. Shotgun hallway. So fun. Like, look at this ginormous room. There's like six ceiling fans, so you're never going to be hot in there. The size of these windows is just, I love natural lighting. So pretty. It even has the old chalkboard still. Like, it'd be so cool. Like, the staircase is really pretty. All these wooden floors are gorgeous. It's just such a fun home. I stumbled upon this one. It's in Homer, New York, and it's giving the conjuring in some ways. Just the outside of it looks like a haunted house. <laughs> this room's kind of cute. Uh, the built-ins are nice, but the rest of it, I don't know. Some of the rooms are cute, like... I don't know. It's like grandma's couch wallpaper. Ew, yeah, I would not be going to that basement. This is some house that an urban explorer would go into and do a YouTube video in. This house I've had saved for a while now, actually, but I came across it again because it's been on the market for a year now. It's just under $55,000 and it's probably because the inside is destroyed. But like, look at this street. Is this not like fall Halloween magic? This photo alone sold me. I was like, yes, I'm saving it. I don't even need to see the interior. And the thing is, we're not going to see the interior because there's no interior photos, unfortunately. But just the outside of this home, look, it's just absolutely beautiful. Clearly, it's destroyed inside, which is why it's so cheap. But if there was any hope to fix it up, like the land around it is just so beautiful. It looks like such a nice place to live. Let's do one more house because I found this one. I had to save it. It's in Pennsylvania, but and it's in Cory, Pennsylvania, funny enough, because 
My husband's name is Corey and he's from Pennsylvania. Ha ha ha. This house is so beautiful. Again, red brick home, not something I usually click on. Just under $100,000. It's $97,650. Five bed, one bath, 3,400 square feet with about an acre and a half of land. I love when they have drone shots of a house. It just makes it look like a movie. Quarry, Pennsylvania seems to be more of a rural area. So again, you have beautiful land. And then we have this house. Now this house, some rooms like this one, giving Minecraft, you don't know what's happening there. But then we have other rooms like this hallway with this very grand staircase that is just so pretty. This room that has these gorgeous giant windows, really cool wallpaper and cast iron radiators. My dream. <laughs> the cast iron radiators in this home made me want to buy it on the spot. Like, Again, as I said, I would die to have a home with cast iron radiators. I'd have to go more north if I want cast iron. The majority of the homes I see with cast iron are in New York. However, I don't really want to live in New York state. I just don't want the snow, but you get the cast iron radiators, which kind of make up for it, kind of. Look at this landing on the top floor. All of these rooms, the details of the staircase are so cool. Like, it's just beautiful. This home is absolutely Gorgeous. This room's so random. It looks like a New York City apartment, which this is the size of like a New York Studio City apartment. But you have a whole house other than that. Like just so freaking pretty. I just can't get over these windows. These windows are original. The arches on the outside of them is just so cool. If you look closely in this photo, they have not updated the electrical at all. You can see they don't have the grounding on the plug holes. Like probably the electrical has to be redone in the house. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Pretty. If I was to get a house in Pennsylvania, this would be the type of house. I wish I could buy this one. Obviously can't. So we're going to end it on that note because I think we ended with a great house. I want to know which house was your favorite out of all of these ones that I showed. Let me know if you want me to continue to bring you all along as I look at cheap old houses. I'll be sitting here doing it anyways, so I might as well bring you along in the journey if you're interested. So I'm wondering if I should maybe do this as like a live stream on YouTube because then you can all chat with me and tell me what you all think about the houses as well in real time. You know, we all grab ourselves a glass of wine or an iced coffee and just sit down and look at old houses together. I feel like that might be fun. If there's a demand for it. I would definitely be down to do it. But until next time.